Nowadays, it seems like everybody and their mother has a new online course for you to buy. We got people selling courses on their Patreon and Gumroad, and we got dedicated websites for online courses like Udemy, Coursera, Class 101, Udacity, Skillshare, which is a sponsor of this video, by the way. Psych! <laughs> no, no, no. All, all, all jokes aside, I don't have a problem with people selling courses online because if they developed a certain skill or they have a certain degree of knowledge in a particular area or field, and I don't have anything wrong with people selling a course to you know make some financial gain from it because they put a lot of work into whatever they're doing however if you're self-taught and you're trying to like learn something on these online courses and tutorials there is one big issue that can arise the problem is you go through a tutorial or an online course you've built out the project you've drawn something or you've done whatever the instructor is doing you copy whatever the video is saying to a t and by the end of the tutorial you have absolutely no idea how to make it yourself you start thinking to yourself oh man i wasting my money um this guy probably just doesn't have like a, a teaching style that i resonate with i need to go buy another course or i need to go watch another course and another one 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 you basically become the dj Khaled of um online courses this ladies and gentlemen is something we call tutorial hell and what is tutorial hell well tutorial hell is the phenomenon of watching tutorials back to back in hopes of learning something new from experience i can tell you that tutorial hell isn't a good place to be stuck in it completely skadooshes the entire learning process and i don't mean skadoosh in a good way so what is the solution how do we get out of tutorial hell well i've come to realize during my art journey in order to get out of tutorial hell you need to start applying the information that you learn in these tutorials and in these online courses you know rather than just simply copying what the instructor is presenting to you i think the primary reasons why we get thrown in tutorial hell is because we're fearful of whatever we produce by ourselves like we know it's going to look bad and we don't want it to look bad we want it to look good because you know we, we want to reach a certain level right and also sitting down to actually apply information is a lot more taxing on the mind it requires more willpower more content concentration it's a lot harder than just looking at something than copying it this is the reason why we feel as if we haven't learned a single thing from a tutorial even though we just literally went through it like a few seconds ago we haven't applied the information and therefore we haven't given our minds enough time to actually cement that knowledge sitting down to actually use that information in your own project or activities is what actually cements the knowledge thereby allowing you to get mad skills in whatever you're doing unsurprisingly and i, I kind of mentioned this before at the beginning of the video i I've fallen in tutorial hell myself for example there was this one video that i was trying to learn from it was about like anatomy or something like that and after the instructor went through like a certain part of the human body i wasn't able to understand like the form and function of a particular muscle i started to think to myself oh this guy is isn't teaching me the right way i i don't resonate with his teaching style i need to go buy another course or i just need to go find another tutorial online to look at i would jump to the conclusion at the drop of a hat without actually taking the time to you know go through the course you know copy whatever he's doing and then apply that information into my own stuff so i actually you know learn the right way now i'm not dismissing the possibility that some people out there just have different learning styles nor am i dismissing the fact that a lot of course instructors out there are complete yahoos you're a hack <laughs> I'm just saying if you're like me and you continuously find yourself not sticking with something, you may want to take a step back and ask yourself, am I really taking enough time to apply the information that was given to me? Or am I just trying to stay in my comfort zone? Because that's what tutorial hell does, right? It keeps you in your comfort zone. Not only does it prevent you from learning anything new, but it's just a complete time waster. And I'm not just talking to you when I give you this information. I'm talking to myself as well. Ever since the start of my master plan art journey, I had to deviate from the mindset of thinking I need another tutorial in order to learn this thing like actually i've deviated from that and shifted into a new mindset of i need to just be consistent with this and i need to keep applying this information i always ask myself am i trying to stay in my comfort zone by seeking out another tutorial whenever i meet some challenge that seems insurmountable asking yourself that question really takes things into perspective so to sum everything up after you're done watching a tutorial or a course make sure you apply the information in something of your own as well as information without application Oh, well, I, I guess it's nothing, right? Anyways, today was a pretty short video. Just wanted to drop a wisdom bomb on you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell so you don't miss a single Interman classic. Check out the description for a bunch of cool links. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. This is Interman from Interman Arts, signing off.